Today, some countries are grappling with a drastic population decline. Deaths resulting from premature births are on the rise, and fertile women are equally left with no hope after losing their uterus to illness and various complications. But what if we could change all these and man take control of artificially growing humans from scratch? Welcome to the remarkable world of artificial wombs, where babies could be grown entirely from scratch outside of the human womb. Be sure to watch this video until the end to find out how this groundbreaking technology will revolutionize the way we bring life into the earth. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's get started with the video. It's hard to understand why scientists are grappling with the idea of developing artificial wombs until you look at the statistics. Picture this, every year around 15 million fetuses are born prematurely and sadly, approximately 1 million of them suffer from birth complications leading to death. Ideally, premature babies born before 24 weeks face reduced survival rates and potential long-term health issues. And even though baby incubators have improved survival rates, they have limitations and may not be effective for babies born before 22 weeks. And therefore, the artificial womb emerges as a revolutionary solution to address these challenges. But besides just serving the primary purpose of sustaining premature babies, an artificial womb also opens the door to a fascinating possibility, and that's designer babies. By engineering humans from scratch and growing them outside of the human body, a concept popularly known as ectogenesis, we could redesign ourselves to be more resistant to diseases and possess enhanced intelligence and aesthetics. Now, the idea of an artificial womb may sound like science fiction to most of us, but you'd be surprised that it's been around for centuries. However, it wasn't until the 1950s that scientists began to seriously explore the possibility of creating one. Emanuel Greenberg patented the first design of an artificial womb in 1955, envisioning it as a way to aid premature babies. A few years later, in the 1960s, a team of scientists at the University of Minnesota developed an artificial womb that could support the development of lambs. However, the device was not very effective and it was never used on human babies. But this existing artificial womb, though not effective, shade immense light to further development in the artificial womb. Late in the 1990s, researchers at Tokyo University tested an artificial womb with a goat fetus demonstrating its potential. In 2002, scientists created many artificial wombs using cells from the uterus itself. However, ethical concerns halted the experiments. And nearly two decades later, we witnessed a renewed interest in artificial wombs. In 2017, breakthroughs occurred when scientists at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia developed a biobag, which is a primitive version of the artificial womb filled with fluid and able to provide the fetus with oxygen, nutrients and warmth. They used the biobag to raise premature lamb fetuses and achieved remarkable success as the biobag managed to keep the premature lambs alive. Fast forward to today, scientists have managed to invent an artificial womb facility also known as a growth pod where a baby can be grown from scratch. The growth pods replicate the conditions of a mother's uterus and are designed to host human fetuses until they are fully developed. At first, they were created to support premature babies, but with the emerging research and enhancement, they'll now be used to create designer babies entirely from scratch. But how does the artificial womb facility work? Well, as we mentioned, the artificial womb facility or growth pod is a highly advanced version of baby incubators. Its design comprises three main components. First, we've got the growth chamber, which hosts the developing fetus and replicates the optimal conditions of a mother's uterus, providing the necessary temperature and humidity, which is a safe and infection-free environment for your baby's development. Secondly, we've got the bloodstream container, which ensures a constant stream of oxygen-rich blood to the fetus until birth, further supporting its growth and development. And lastly, the growth pod is also filled with amniotic fluid, which is a fluid or a liquid that mirrors the nutrients present in the mother's uterus, essential for the fetus's sustenance. Other incredible features included on the growth pods are advanced sensors, which are coupled with artificial intelligence to monitor vital signs, physical features and genetic abnormalities, providing real-time data on the fetus's development progress. All this information is collated on a screen monitor attached to the growth pod and can also be accessible through a user-friendly app on a smartphone to allow the parent to remotely monitor the health status of their baby in the comfort of their homes. Now, the technology of artificial wombs comes as a breakthrough for the future of humanity and promises several benefits. First, growth pods could save the lives of premature babies. As mentioned earlier in this video, every year the world welcomes millions of babies born prematurely, but sadly, a good number of these babies do not survive. 
Now, artificial wombs could provide these babies with a safe and healthy environment to develop in, giving them a better chance of survival. You can never imagine the impact this could have on the world. With this is the assurance of a painless delivery. One thing we can all agree with is that the technology of artificial womb is likely to gain widespread acceptance among women thanks to the fact that it takes away the pain and the stress of traditional childbirth that women face. With an artificial womb, childbirth is smooth and pain-free. You only push a button and hurrah, you've got your bouncing baby. In addition, artificial wombs could allow women who are unable to carry a pregnancy to term to have children. For example, women who have had their uterus removed or who have a condition that makes it difficult to carry a pregnancy could use an artificial womb to raise a baby and fulfill their dream of parenthood. And lastly, artificial wombs could be used to create designer babies. In the future, it may be possible to use artificial wombs to control the genetic makeup of babies. Imagine a future where parents have the opportunity to select and enhance their child's genetic makeup, ensuring their inherent desirable qualities and characteristics. But let's not forget that this technology could be used to support countries facing population declines in Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea and many others, ushering in an era of healthy, genetically enhanced babies. And even though it sounds like we're years away from scaling this idea in the world, the reality is that in the next few years, we're likely to have thousands of artificially designed human beings living amongst us, all thanks to the famed growth pods. Already we have the Noble Ector Life, which is the world's first artificial womb facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Shockingly, Ectolife is equipped with 75 state-of-the-art labs, each capable of accommodating up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. Honestly, this is an engineering marvel and is going to be a game-changer. The growth pods are well designed to feature the latest technology which relays real-time data through an app to the parents of the growing fetus. It's even amazing that Ectolife's technology goes beyond just providing data, it enables an unprecedented bonding experience. Utilizing a 360-degree camera inside the growth pod, parents can step into the baby's world through virtual reality headsets. This allows them to experience what their baby sees and hears, fostering an emotional connection like never before. With a wireless haptic suit, you can easily feel your baby's kicks and share this magical experience with loved ones, making your journey to parenthood truly extraordinary. But even though artificial wombs have the potential to save lives and improve the lives of many people, they also raise several ethical concerns. One challenge is the question of when life begins. If a fetus can develop outside of the womb, does that mean that it's a person? If so, then artificial wombs could be used to terminate pregnancies, which would raise several ethical concerns. Another challenge is the question of who should have access to artificial wombs. If artificial wombs are only available to wealthy people, then this could create a two-tiered society where only the rich can have children through this technology. This would be a major injustice, and it's something that we need to think about carefully before artificial wombs become a reality. So there you have it guys. As you've seen, the artificial womb is not merely a scientific pursuit. It represents a profound evolution in human potential and the shaping of tomorrow's world. But this comes at a cost of several ethical concerns. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching.